Hi there, this is Derek from Pacific Coast Auto and today we're looking at a Honda Acti mini truck with four-wheel drive and 550cc engine. And so that's half a liter engine. This one here is a little bit of a special vehicle because, and I normally don't say the prices of the vehicles that we've bought from auction, but I'm going to say the price of this one just because this one was a super amazing, strange, crazy price that I think everybody wants to know. And then this, the person who actually bought this car, if you don't want me saying what the price is, I'll take this video down. And uh, anyways, the price that we got this for was 4,000 yen. 4,000 yen is roughly 35 American dollars. Now, hard to believe that you can get a vehicle for that much. So why is it so cheap? Well, much of the reason comes from the fact that this one here is a 550cc version. 550 is a small engine, and this was the old designation for K cars. A K car has dimension restrictions, so the length and the width and the height have to be within a certain size. And then back during the 1980s, the engine size had to be 550cc. And now they've upgraded that to 660 and allow turbochargers, and so you can get more horsepower out of them. And so everybody wants the 660cc turbocharged trucks, and these 550s have dropped in value. And so what we have here is a $35 truck. Pretty crazy. Now the car is 25 years old. This one's going to be sent to the U.S. You can import newer than 25-year-old mini trucks to the U.S., but it depends on the state whether you can register them for the road, and in most states, the answer is no. In most states, you have to register them only for farm use. So there is a market for those. We don't really play in that market very much because, you know, most of the cars that we sell are of the regular variety. If you look at my channel, you'll only find like two or three of these, and most of them have the hydraulic dump truck on the back. Okay, so let's take a look at, uh, at this vehicle. Here's the auction sheet. And this tells you about the truck. About the truck. So this is a 1989 Honda Acti four-wheel drive, 550cc. This one's been in an accident, so it's R grade with interior and exterior C. The carry capacity is 350 kilograms. So times that by 2.2 to get your pounds. It's a four-speed manual transmission and 110,502 kilometers. The exterior is white original color. No power steering, no power windows, no ABS, no airbags, no alloy wheels, no sunroof, no navigation, no TV, no leather, and no AC. Now you can get these with AC if you really want. This one doesn't have it. This one says the odometer has rolled over one time and it's five digits and so that would mean that although it says in the car 10,502, it's actually 110,502. Okay, odometer says 10,502, left front pillar has been replaced. Let's take a look at that. Uh, left front is this one. This one has been replaced. The vehicle's got various rust and corrosion on it and this is probably the worst spot here. And we knew about that before bidding on it. Seat ripped. Various scratches, dents. Underside has surface rust on it, and the bed has scratches and dents. If you look at the diagram here, there's rust on the front, rust on the roof, rust here on the left side sill, rust here on the side. Big scratches in the back, A4 is big scratches, and A3 on the back here, that's a 3 out of 4 size scratch, and the front has been repainted. Okay, so let's take a look at the truck itself. So 25 years old, you're not going to get away from the rust on these trucks. And so it's just something that you have to live with. If you get one that's this old. Now let me back up, I said that uh, you might have troubles registering this in some states. Let me rephrase that. The 25 year old ones you can register in pretty much every state. California you might have troubles because of emissions. Actually you probably will have troubles because of emissions and I would recommend not trying because it would be a difficult thing to take care of. It's just that uh, in the US you can import newer than 25 year old ones if they 
if they aren't classified as like a vehicle. I'm not sure because I've never done it, but I know that the market is there and people are doing it. And so, if you're into these mini trucks, there is a possibility to buy newer than 25 year old ones and import them. I just wouldn't be able to help too much with that. Okay, so let's go take a look at the damage. I already showed you that front pillar has the rusties. Right here, right here, and right here. The roof says it had rust. That's what they're talking about there. Although there is some other rust, it's not very much. A little bit of surface stuff here and there. The back bar here is really useful. It's got these little nubs here so that you can put a two by four to the back of bed here and then rest it up here and it won't fall over the edge or pipes or whatever you need. It's also got hooks here and a lot of hooks along the side here so that you can strap stuff down in your truck. Trucks like this are usually what they use here in Japan instead of a pickup truck. It's for good reason. These are a lot more useful than a pickup truck. The only downside is that, you know, pickup trucks are used by people to pretend to be cool. Think about all those people that have pickup trucks but never actually use them to do pickup truck stuff. You know, you ask them to help you move and they say no because I don't want to scratch my bed. And so here in Japan, people aren't like that. They uh, only use trucks for utility for the most part. I mean, there are some people who like American trucks, but they are uh, by far the exception. And what I mean by American trucks, I mean traditional pickup that's larger than this, not particularly a utility vehicle like this one is. All three sides of the bed come down. Um, I think you can lower the side ones without lowering the rear one, but I'm not sure. And also the Honda seems to have better handles than the Suzuki. Now it looks like you can't put down the side without putting down the rear. So, rear here. And there are different configurations for these trucks actually. You can get them in dump truck. You can actually get them in a lift box that has a scissor lift for the box. They're really uncommon, but I've seen them. Pretty cool. Um, there's ones with gas tanks in the back, ones with uh, refrigerator boxes, so like uh, you can do cold delivery. Okay, there we have it. Now usually I'll show you the engine in these videos, but this one, the engine is hard to get to. If you want to get to the engine, you have to take that little panel off. The underside it scratches as they usually do and the odd rust here and there. Considering the age, I think this one's probably pretty good. You'll find that a lot of these that are even, say, 10 years old will have considerable damage to them in rust. And so, I think this one was probably parked inside or in a shed. Okay, let's take a look at the rest of the rust on it. And I was actually assuming that this would be rustier than it actually is. Uh, there we go. And this chain here, uh, you can attach this chain to somewhere here, and then so that way the back one will be parallel with the rest of the bed, sort of like a tailgate. Okay, so there was C2 on the left side, that's right here. I think there was a C2, which is corrosion level 2, they said over here. From what I can see, the frame is pretty good, but I don't have a lift, so I don't really know. Okay, let's, uh, wheels are a 12 inch. 12 inch is the same as an Austin Mini. Um, also a Ford Fiesta. There are some other ones that have old, like old cars have 12 inches. Tires might be a bit of a concern, but with like companies like Tire Rack, they can get a lot of specialty tires and you should have no problem if you go through a company like that. Just your, your standard tire shop probably doesn't carry this size. These are 2005 tire and they're completely done. Completely bald. Okay, inside. Now the auction sheet said that it has rips on the interior seat and it's true. Right here and right here. Probably pretty easy to stitch that up. Besides that, the interior, well, the K car interior is pretty much all K car interiors don't hold up very well because they're a pretty cheap vehicle. 
Like brand new, even now these are only 10 grand. I like this extra pad here because I guess if that's a high wear area then they reinforce that as standard. Good thinking. Real time four wheel drive, manual transmission, no tachometer. So I guess it tells you which gears you should be in for different speeds. That's kind of different. Diff lock, so your four wheel drive actually works. No AC, old style radio. They left cigarettes in here, which I hate. Hate. Broken lock there with a little wire. Totally manly fix. Remind, reminds me of a show, Red Green, which if you're Canadian, you probably know because in Canada, they have a regulation where a certain amount of the TV has to be Canadian television. And Red Green is a Canadian comedy show that's really not very good, but it was on a lot in the 80s. So this one, push down. Yeah, and he always fixes stuff with duct tape. Okay, taking a look at this, actually, I haven't seen this from the inside yet, and it looks a little bit worse from the inside. Okay, so that's going to be it for this truck. Mini truck, four-wheel drive. Oh, and one other thing, probably the coolest name, four-wheel drive, Acti Attack. And it just makes me laugh thinking about this car attacking anything, especially when you put it next to the you know, regular size vehicles. Okay, so we're gonna end it there. Thank you very much for watching. If you have any questions, post them in the comments or send me an email and I'll try to get back to you as soon as I can. Thanks a lot and have a good day.